I have mentioned the Face Theory Exaglow Serum in three different videos already without giving you a proper review and the only explanation I have is that I received it at the end of summer when I usually switch the focus of my routine to fighting hyperpigmentation. Targeting hyperpigmentation requires a combination of different ingredients and this serum contains quite a few so I slapped it on the second I opened the box. Time to tell you how I feel about it, don't you think? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. In terms of claims, it says what you would expect and aims to lighten patches of pigmentation, to smooth the skin and to help achieve a luminous and uniform complexion. Doesn't that sound great? The serum has no added fragrance, smells like nothing and texture-wise sits in the middle between a watery and an oily serum. It has more body than the really runny ones, but is much more lightweight than the richer versions and leaves only minimal tackiness on the skin. As it contains a bit of lactic acid, I don't know the exact percentage, but below 2%, I wouldn't necessarily use it twice a day, but using it daily should be possible depending on the rest of your skincare. The more potentially irritating products you already use, the more careful you need to be. That being said, I used it daily despite using tretinoin and had no issues with irritation. It goes on after cleansing and toner, should you use one, and can be applied all over or with a focus on the areas where you have hyperpigmentation, which for me is my temples and both of my cheeks. I used it in the mornings, but nighttime use would be fine as well, and topped it up with a hydrating sunscreen as it leaves the skin smooth, but isn't enough to keep in hydration unless your skin is very oily. Now, what is there to tackle hyperpigmentation? You have tranexamic acid at 5%, niacinamide at 2%, a little lower than usual, and licorice root extract that hinder melanin production in different stages, so make a good combination. Lactic acid is present at less than 2%, as I already mentioned, so the beneficial effect through surface exfoliation is probably low, and there's also sodium ascorbyl phosphate, a vitamin C derivative with a potential beneficial effect on pigmentation as well. As humectants, you will find glycerin and sodium hyaluronate, but I admit I didn't find this to be very hydrating on its own. If you have seen my video on the 10 best ingredients to target hyperpigmentation, you will know the serum contains three of them. Four if you count the lactic acid, five if you also count the vitamin C derivative, which I don't, I prefer ascorbic acid. These three together with the tretinoin I use and my vitamin C make a powerful combination that helped me fade my pigmentation quickly after summer, so it is safe to say I'm a fan. It should work for all skin types that want to target pigmentation, but you will probably need to pair it with something hydrating. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!